Hello and welcome to Saki Tech. In today's video, I will show you guys how to convert your HTC One to an HTC One Google Play Edition with over the air, also known as OTA updates enabled. So that means anytime a new and official version of Android is released, you will be the first to get it on your HTC One without losing any of your existing data. Here are the requirements to complete this project. Number one, you must have a rooted HTC One. Number two, you must have S off. If you don't have a rooted HTC One or S off, then go and watch my step-by-step -step tutorial videos that will show you how to root and gain S off on your HTC One. Now my tutorials are extremely detailed and newbie friendly, so don't be afraid, just go and get it done. Also, this procedure will work for any GSM phone in any part of the world, but it will not work with CDMA phones such as Verizon. Just Google your carrier to see if it is GSM or CDMA before you embark on this conversion. Now my phone is an AT&T phone so I know it works there and also it works on T-Mobile. Anything else you need to Google it real quick to make sure it is a GSM phone. Anyway, if you already meet the requirements, let's get moving. Next step is to go and grab all the required files we will need to complete the conversion. So first navigate to my website post for which I will leave a link in the description below. Okay, so here's the two files that we need for this project. The first one is the Android SDK bundle. And if you followed my previous tutorials, you probably downloaded this already. You can keep the one that you already have and use it uh, if you want, or you can re-download the whole package. And if you go to this website here, this is the Android SDK tools. Just click download the SDK. Agree to the terms. 64-bit, that's my PC, it's a 64-bit PC. If you have a 32-bit PC, use this version, and then just click download. And then once you're done with that, click the second link, and this is the actual uh, Google Play Edition ROM that we are going to put on our phone, which is going to give us our permanent conversion. So this is the um, website post we're going to come to, and let's uh, scroll all the way down. And what you need to get is this one right here. Now you can get a stock non-rooted version or you can go for a version that is already rooted for you. So if you're the kind of guy that likes rooted phones, you can download the rooted version or if you want complete stock as if you just bought this from a store, go for the non-rooted version. So then just click this right here. It is going to take you to this website and click this black download link right here. And that should start the download process. Oops. Okay. Okay, so here are the two files that we just downloaded. That's the ADT bundle and that is the Google Play Edition ROM. Let's extract this to the desktop or wherever you want using 7-zip is what I use. And once the extraction is complete, go to the newly extracted ADT bundle folder and uh, just keep digging in until you see the platform tools folder. Copy this folder and just paste it on the desktop. Okay, this is all you need from this whole package. So download the ADT bundle zip. I'm sorry, delete the ADT bundle zip. Delete the folder you just extracted. We already uh, received what we want. That's the folder that we need. And then grab this RUU file, this uh, Google Play Edition uh, ROM, and put it in the Platform Tools folder. So now everything is in fact ready and we can move on and um, complete the process. Okay, so we do have to do a couple things on the phone before I proceed. But uh, in case you're wondering what kind of case I'm using, and a lot of people ask me this question when they see my videos, uh, I left a link in the description below that will take you to the Amazon webpage that actually sells this case for $10. It's a fantastic case. Uh, it's got a flap cover just like that, and it's, uh, it's leather, and it's gorgeous. So let's, uh, let me show you what you need to do on your phone to complete our project. Okay, go to the settings and enable the developer options. Okay, so if you don't see the developer option at the bottom of the settings screen, what you have to do is go to About Phone, scroll down, and tap the bill number seven times. This is going to enable the hidden developer options menu. 
and if you go back to the settings menu here you'll see it right there developers options so go inside developer options and make sure you enable USB debugging in the newest versions it's called Android debugging just so you know so um, whoop, let me scroll back up okay so there's Android debugging is equivalent to USB debugging so enable that and then we're good to go now I'm using custom ROM here so if you have an HTC sense phone what you want to do is you want to go to settings about phone all the way at the bottom and then click software information and then click more and then you will see the bill number that you can tap seven times which is going to expose a USB debugging menu the developers options menu and also go ahead and uh, connect your phone to your computer using a micro USB cable and then we can just leave it attached and uh, we can finally move on to the computer and finalize this process okay so we are ready let's um, launch this website here open it up I mean and then anywhere within the white space first of all press and hold shift on your keyboard and anywhere in the white space right click on your mouse and then click open command window here now the first thing I want you to do is I just want to make sure that the ADB is actually working so we can issue commands to our phone using the command line so type in ADB devices okay and if you see a random number and devices next to it that means your ADB is in fact working and if you see a prompt on your phone um, just click OK you may see a prompt on your phone when you type in this command just make sure you click OK now the next thing I want you to do is I want you to send your phone to boot loader slash fast boot mode so all you have to do is type in ADB reboot boot loader okay so your phone is gonna go into the boot loader mode and it's automatically gonna go into the fast boot mode from there and I'm gonna go ahead and bring up the phone on the screen so you can see exactly what is going on so this is the screen you must be seeing right now on your phone so the next thing we want to do is part of the process of converting your phone to the Google Play Edition is to make sure you have the right CID number so let's uh, uh, find what our CID number is CID stands for carrier identification number okay so now that we're in fast boot mode we have to issue fast boot commands so here's all you need to do fast boot OEM read CID okay that is going to give you your CID number so here's what I want you to take a look at here's a list I pulled off let me just put it right here let me re rearrange this real quick okay so here's a list of uh, supported CID numbers just look at these guys you can ignore the model ID number okay so look at these CID numbers if you have any one of these CID numbers you're good to go you don't have to change your CID number but if your CID number does not match what you have here then you will have to change your CID number okay and what do you want to change it to you want to change it to this guy so how do you change a CID number here's the code for it okay so all you do is you go down here and you type in fast boot OEM write C I D okay this is the wrong command here C I D and then you're going to go and say G I'm just gonna show you an example so I'm gonna change my CID number just just for you guys I already have the one that is supported which is right here so as you can see CWS 001 is my current CID number and it is in the list here so it is supported but I'm gonna change it to Google one so type in G O O G L and then it's not O it's zero so zero zero one okay so now my CID number has changed how do I confirm that it's changed retype that command that says fastboot OEM read CID press enter and now as you can see 
it's the Google CID number and another thing I want to let you know you can change it back to whatever you feel like so my original CID number was this guy so I can change it back to that no problem okay I'm just gonna leave as Google for now so the next step is to actually flash this file this um, Google Play Edition ROM the RUU file to the phone and you're done okay so let's do that real quick so here's the commands so the first command you want to type in is this one this is a special command that you need to type fast boot um, let me just reduce the caps here okay so fast boot OEM reboot RUU okay press enter that should be instantaneous and this is the final thing you want to do and you have to run this code twice if you need to so what you want to type is you want to type in fast boot flash zip but instead of this file name here we're gonna use this file name okay so you're gonna to have to type this exactly as it appears the RUU file okay so I'm just gonna paste it over here Okay, make sure you put the zip in the ending. So the zip, ha it's a zip file. Remember that. So you have to put the zip in the end. Okay, and then press enter. Okay, and here's what's going to happen. You're going to get a message that says failed. Okay, and you have to basically just redo it. And then you're done. So the same exact command that you typed up here. If you press the arrow up key on your keyboard, this command will come right back and this is the same command we just ran which failed okay so we're gonna redo it so type this whole thing and press enter and this time you're gonna see uh, a bunch of text that is going to stream on your screen okay so now this process is going to take five to ten minutes and then you're gonna see some streaming text on your command prompt window and you will also see a green bar on your HTC phone so if you look at my HTC phone, you'll see a green bar, which is also indicating that the file is being received by the phone. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to fast forward this to the end, and uh, because you don't need to watch the whole show. And I'm just going to fast forward to the success message, and we're going to go on from there. Okay, so once you see the success message, all you have to do is type in fast boot, reboot. Okay, make sure you type that message or you may get stuck at that screen that you're seeing on the on the phone so if you type this in it's gonna reboot the phone okay so you're done with your computer and you can disconnect the phone and the phone will just boot into Android as usual and now you have the uh, the latest and greatest Android and you're gonna be getting future OTA updates you're not gonna have to delete your phone and re reinstall a brand new custom ROM to get the latest and greatest okay so you'll be getting OTA, also known as over-the-air updates. So let me just fast forward this all the way to the end and show you what to expect. Okay, so here we are faced with the regular uh, setup screen. So let me just skip everything really quick. I just want to show you guys that we are in fact running 4.4.2. And if you're watching this video in the future, you'll be seeing the, the latest uh, version of Android on your phone. Okay and let's go to settings real quick settings all the way down at about phone and there you go 4.4.2 and when 4.5 comes out you get it right away alright and uh, the system is up to date we're not gonna worry about that right now Oop. let's just go home but uh, this is it the procedure is over alright so that brings us to the end of this video uh, go ahead and subscribe to my channel for more videos to come uh, give me a thumbs up if you liked this video and also you can go ahead and connect with me socially on Google Plus, Facebook and Twitter for which all the links are in the description below. Thank you again and I'll see you the next time. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, just throw them down in the comments section below.